Thanks, Jerry, and congratulations. And a big thank you to Minister Romano, to you personally, and also to your government for the investment that will help move McMaster forward in its fight against antimicrobial resistance and in infectious disease research. This will help research not just at McMaster, but across Canada and internationally. I'm here at McMaster Innovation Park with Ty Shuddock, the CEO. We're standing at the gateway of what will become a state-of-the-art research centre, the global nexus for pandemic and biological threats. At the core of McMaster's research is a vast knowledge that spans all disciplines, and this is really going to be essential for us to combat the current COVID crisis and future pandemics and crises, economic, social, and biological. We're not just building a building here, we're building an ecosystem. An ecosystem that will allow us to engage stakeholders both locally and globally. An ecosystem that will allow us to do research, but also create spin-out opportunities and economic opportunities that will impact the region, the country, and the world. And we're doing that on top of 10 years of success. 10 years of success of being a bridge between academia and industry. Within this 300,000 square feet facility, we'll have researchers collaborating with engineers, collaborating with business people from the country and from around the world. So McMaster University is uniquely positioned to drive both the science and evidence-based policy decisions and to lead the global nexus to enable us to better prepare, not just for Ontarians, Canadians, but for the world at large for the next pandemic.